I'm Elizabeth McMillan, and I'm here with Naomi Minardi at the Jekyll Center. Naomi is the head therapist for Equine Performax, and today we're going to be talking about laminitis and grass founder. So Naomi, can you tell us first of all, what is laminitis? So a horse suffering from laminitis is experiencing a decrease in blood flow to the lamina. At this time of the year, the most common cause of laminitis is horses grazing on grass rich in non-structural carbohydrates. That's where you get the term grass founder. So what can be done to prevent grass founder? So if available and you can turn your horse out only in the morning time, that's when the grass is least rich in sugar. Um, so if you can turn out in the morning and, you know, bring in in the evening, that would be great. If that's not available, you can put muzzles on them if they're outside 24-7, and that will be the most helpful thing right. to do. So can you tell us if they have started to founder, what are some of the signs of grass founder? What does that look like? So some of the earlier signs are a crusty neck and any sort of abnormal fat deposits over their tail head or their hindquarters. As the problem progresses, you're going to see them have very sore feet. So a lot of times they'll be standing awkward or rocking back. Some even lay down more often than normal. Um, horses that their feet are hurting, their feet are going to be hot, and they're going to have a strong digital pulse. So those are very, very telltale signs that you have laminitis. So most professionals know how to take a digital pulse, but for people who may not know what that is or how to take a digital pulse, can you explain that real quick? Yeah, so if you're feeling a down their ankle and you go down past the pastern on the back of their leg, you're going to feel a very strong thumping, pulsing feeling, much like you would if you were taking your own pulse. So if you feel that, you continue to feel down their foot, their feet are going to be hot. You're definitely going to feel that there's something going on in their feet. And normally it's going to be both front feet. Right. So let's say that you feel these, your horse's feet are hot. Maybe mm -hmm. they're moving short, what have you, and you're pretty concerned that they might be foundering. What's the next thing you should do? So your next step would be to call the vet right away. The vet's going to be able to get them on the proper medication that they're going to need, along with shooting x-rays of both front feet to make sure we have no rotation of the coffin bone, which is worst case scenario. Yeah. So that used to be really the only thing you could do would be to call your vet. Your vet might work with your, with your farrier to try mm -hmm. to work on the horse. Right. What now can be done? Because I know there's been a lot of advances with equine therapy and in terms of both knowledge and in terms of equipment. And so right. can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So we have two pieces of equipment here at Equine Performax that can help um, decrease the inflammation and increase the blood flow, which is the most important thing to do. Um, so we have the cold salt water leg spa along with our Equipulse. And both of those are very, very beneficial in acute stages of laminitis. Okay. So... They're pretty exciting. Yes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take out our model, Heidi. <laughs> and Heidi has no problems, but she's a very good soul. And yep. so she'll go right into the cold lake spa and you guys will get to see what that's like. And it's, it's pretty interesting. So we're going to go take a look at the cold lake spa and the Equivibe. Okay, so we are here at the Cold Lake Spa with Naomi and Heidi. I'm gonna run this camera over so you can take a look at the inside. And what you see here is just the water coming around her legs and starting to foam up a little bit there. Can you tell us a little bit, Naomi, about what it does? So the Cold Lake Spa is kept at 37 degrees. There's also an aeration system on it, so there's blowers that will put compression against their legs to reduce inflammation. Um, since it is so cold, when they walk out of the cold lake spa, the water or the blood is going to rush to their feet. There'll be a massive rush of blood to their feet, and that's what we're trying to accomplish because a horse with laminitis or experiencing any founder symptoms are losing blood flow to their feet. So with this, giving that massive rush of blood flow will really be beneficial. And then after she's done with this treatment, we can use the Equipulse as well, which increases the blood flow right. to the hoof as well. And so that helps with reducing the inflammation, correct? Right, right. right. That's going to help us reduce inflammation and hopefully stop the rotation process as well. That's our goal with this treatment. Great. Thanks. Well, we'll head over to the Equipulse in a minute here. Sounds good. Okay, so we are back with Naomi and Heidi, who is our model today. And can you tell us a little bit about the Equipulse, how it's used, and give us a little example. Yeah. So this is the Equipulse, this is the wand, which is what we place on their body or around their feet. 
Um, it's PEMF therapy, so it's pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, which is very similar to a TENS unit that you would use at the chiropractor. It pulses on, this pulses on a different frequency, but it's the same sort of sensation to the body. So basically, if Heidi here was to be foundering, we would place this around each front foot for 10 minutes each, um, and it's going to help increase the um, blood flow to her foot and decrease any sort of inflammation that she might have. Great. Can you show us what the positioning of the wand looks like for the foot? So we're going to wrap it like this and then place it around each foot. Um, and then it'll stay for five minutes this way and we'll turn it and do five minutes this way. Okay. Thanks. Yep. So in closing, Naomi, what would you say the top three takeaways are for Grass Founder? I would say know the signs, catch it early and take action right away. Thank you so much. You're welcome.